This video tutorial provides an overview of the projects that you'll be performing as part of Marketing 675 Marketing Applications in eBusiness. Let's start at the Syllabus page and then move very quickly to the Schedule page where the projects are listed. There are three. The first two are definitely individual projects, the Smart Space Social Media Site Development and the Jump Station Site. The third, the e-commerce site project, can be an individual project or a team project depending on your decision on how, how far you want to take your organizational scenario and whether you want to develop that on your own or in conjunction with your teammates. The projects all share the structure that you provide some web design work but you also support that with a report, a planning and evaluation report that communicates to the reader how you're planning to use the tools and resources of that project to support the organizational scenario. Let's look at the Smart Space site first to get some idea of where that scenario comes from and how you work with it and how you get started. The first project, the Smart Space web project, uh, covers a variety of different web-based tools that help you establish a very strong web presence uh, for an organization of your choice. Uh, you begin the planning process by determining what that organization is going to be. It can either be this default organization, which might vary depending on which semester you take the course, a hypothetical organization that you describe that you think might be a business that you would want to develop after you graduate or uh, just an idea that you have that you think might be useful in this scenario, or an actual organization, in which case you develop the web presence of a, of a real organization, in which case you would have to work with management of that organization and let me know that you have their permission to develop this type of material for them. Uh, however that works out, uh, you start to work on a web presence planning report that includes a description of that organizational scenario and then plans for how you're going to use each of the various uh, technology, social media technologies that are included in the project. The bulk of the project then, the design work of the project, starts with five different social media, media modules, each of which covers a different web-based technology that allows you to establish a web presence for the organization. The first one of those is Facebook and Twitter. Uh, then we use Picasa and the web album system, uh, followed by YouTube and Google Maps, which integrates many of the technologies we've been working with, and then finally a blog. Uh, in which you create a blog that offers RSS feeds to subscribers and to readers. And then finally, as part of this project, after you've completed those modules, you pull those together in a smart space website uh, in which you purchase a, a domain name for the organization, secure hosting services for it, uh, and use the, the basic tools of that system to essentially create a mashup uh, which pulls together content from various of the, uh, of, the, of the modules that you've already created. So let's look at what you might do with an individual module and then we'll talk about how you submit the overall assignment. The first module is to work with Facebook and Twitter. You have a variety of tasks that you need to perform in each of those systems, creating an account, creating a profile, starting to interact with other people in those systems, uh, and then you're going to share the URL of your profile pages in both those systems uh, as your submission for this first module. So for example, here is the URL for a uh, Facebook group that I'm in is, is in the area of business GIS. And if I were going to submit that uh, as my content for this module, uh, then I move to the Blackboard system to assignments. And that's my social uh, media module number one on Facebook and Twitter. I simply click there, add the URL for Facebook, I do the same for Twitter, and I'm ready to submit. Now, a couple things to follow here. One, make sure that the URLs you provide are to your content in Facebook and Twitter and not just simply to the basic systems. You won't get any credit for just a, a, a Facebook link. Uh, make sure that you've done all the required elements and tasks, and make sure that the your Facebook and Twitter content supports the objectives of the organizational scenario that you're working on. Uh, and then make sure you submit it on time. Um, all of those are, are necessary to receive full credit. Uh, and for these assignments, you have roughly a week after it's included in the schedule uh, before it is actually due. So you do that process five times over for each of these modules. Then at the end of this assignment, you purchase the domain name, secure the hosting service, create the smart space account, uh, and prepare your final written report. 
once you have that work completed and you have the URL for that, then just as you did before, you submit that material. In this case, in the SmartSpace site, you submit here the URL. Uh, you also cut and paste your report into this text box, unsubmit that, and you have completed the SmartSpace site. The second project builds on that. It's a jump station site that you perform again in your um, your hosted account. Um, as with the SmartSpace site, you have a planning evaluation report that you complete uh, so that the, uh, the, the reader can understand what you're doing with each component of the site. And what you're doing here is you're building on what you've already done uh, to use uh, Website Tonight design tools to create a template uh, and home page uh, for the site which explains the overall purpose of what you're doing in this site which draws together all the components of your web presence. Uh, one of the pages that you add will be a jump station site which is essentially a collected set of links that are rated and annotated to give users one place where they can go to find information on the topic that you've chosen as the focus of your organizational scenario. Uh, but you also add uh, Google Analytics and Webmaster tools to your to your page uh, and to your jump station site so that you can start to use these techniques for gathering metrics on the people who come to your site uh, and some technical advice on how to, to improve your site. You then add a survey monkey uh, online survey uh, and link it back and forth from the site so that people can go uh, and complete the survey which provides information to you on their views of the topic of your jump station site and how they relate to the organizational scenario that you're working from. Once that URL and report are ready, you submit those again in the Blackboard system under Assignments, this time under the JS site for Jump Station site. You submit it the same way. The URL and the report uh, get entered into this field. The final project is an e-commerce project, which you do in the last portion of the semester. You may do this as a team or individually, uh, and that would follow your interests in terms of how you want to develop the capabilities of the organizational scenario site that you've already done. Uh, if you wanted to do that on your own and create a transactional site for that organization, you should do it as an individual. If not, you would select one of the topics of, the, of your team uh, and do that together. Uh, there are both individual and team options here. Once again, there's a site planning and evaluation report that you complete. Once again, there are a set of tools that you use to create this system. In this case, it's the Quick Shopping Cart system. Uh, you use that system to develop a database of, uh, of, of products, uh, the, the prices that you establish with pictures of, and descriptions of those products available. Uh, you will use a PayPal system to collect payments for that, uh, in, any products that people buy. Uh, and you will use UPS. You will set up UPS. Uh, as the shipping system. Uh, this will be a fully functional e-commerce site so that if people buy from you, uh, you would be expected to fulfill these orders and, and send out the merchandise to them. Once again, there is a site planning and, and evaluation report associated with the, uh, this portion of the project. Once again, you submit that under assignments, uh, e-commerce site, uh, and here you submit the URL for your e-commerce site and also the text uh, of your written report. So once you've done that, you will have completed the three project requirements for the course, uh, and those will be essentially the application part uh, of your final grade. And that concludes this video lesson.